Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Tour in Seoul. This is John, and I will be looking at another Korean beer, Taegunkil, by Platinum Beer Brewery and CU. Taegunkil, as you can see in the level, uh, this directly translates to way home from work. And this is a German Pilsner style beer. And the standard German Pilsner characteristics is defined as straw to pale in color, malty sweetness that can be perceived in aroma and flavor. And you would also expect a medium, uh, between medium and high bitterness from the hop. Generally, uh, easy to describe what the taste of German Pilsen is like is that you would feel a balanced malt and hop and refreshing and easy to drink. So if you look into the level here, uh, we can see that it's entirely in dark color and you see these buildings with some of the windows with the light on. And this is actually the kind of view you can see in the city night uh, on the way back home from work. So as you can, uh, you would probably assume that these are the corporate building with the light on. It's people are taking extra time to wrap up things up or extra hours to work it's an office light and here you can see meaning you did a, again you did a great job today this is actually the title of a quite a popular song uh, in Korea so it kind of sets the moods uh, giving you the pat on the back that you did well job today you deserve your momentum of freedom and relaxing time at back home drinking a beer this is a nice Nightcap beer. Nightcap is a term that we use to describe a beer that are specifically designed to have just before sleep. So you could have a nice well sleep after a consumption of a tasty beer like this and go tomorrow and start your day with a refreshing sense. The ingredients used here is that uh, the malt is from Germany and Netherlands and hop is from US and Germany. East they use French, wheat they use German. Um, well, when I studied it, a German Pilsner are very proud of a specific process of a fermenting beer and pre-manufacturing a such nice beer. And that is malt 100% fermented product. So let's have a look now. Again, the same glass. Welcome back. So I did get off work today too. So let's see if this is a nice beer that I can have before sleep. As I suggest, it's way home and you did a great job again today. That's kind of giving me a pat on the back. That's a nice move to drink a beer, doesn't it? Here we go. Sweet flavors from malt, obviously. I can sense a little bit of bitterness and that pleasant scent from the hop for the taste. It's heavily carbonated, not like any other beer out there in Korea, like, you know, Kast or, or Terra, you know, those heavily carbonated beers that we chase after nowadays. This Taegukir, a way home German Pilsner style beer, has also a highly carbonated characteristic, but that carbonation scent uh, would just quickly come into your mouth and then goes flows very smoothly to towards the end taste. So it kind of gives you an awakening moment where you're tired from work, you're trying to you have to get rid of that stress or the tired stamina and fatigue. The punch, that first punch with the heavily carbonated scent will kind of gives you that feeling of getting rid of all that tiring stresses that you, you've accumulated along a single day. It's, uh, yeah, it's refreshing. Both refreshing in turn, both um, for taste and the mood. Yes, there's a definitely a sweetness coming from the malt and you would also smell that malt at the same time at the same level as a the malt there's a hot flavor and that carbonation is so strong in the first sip just give you that refreshing moment well as you can see like uh, I did a uh, in the previous videos one of the previous video I've done heavily the high protein content beer such as rising beer uh, wheat ale and the characteristic of the high protein content beer which have a lot of foams and the time that it takes uh, for the foam to disappear it will be longer due to that heavy protein content but as you can see this uh, way home beer uh, you don't see a accumulated bubble at all at the top 
which we call it the white head. So that tells us that uh, time it took for the uh, bubbles to disappear on top of the liquid. So I would assume that there's this low protein content of alcohol. So I, what I like about this beer is that not only the level just gives, it sets the mood uh, to drink before the sleep, after work especially. It has a one of the uh, Korean popular song title. Not only it sets a good mood, um, I like the how I like how this German Pilsner style beer would have high carbonation, and that high carbonation was just so strong in the first sip, and that kind of you know lets me forget what had happened today. If uh, you know like even a bad thing or a good thing, whatever happened at work, that that stamina draining uh, exercises that you would have to repeat every day, that accumulated. Fatigue. As soon as I sip this highly carbonated liquid, my mind just automatically sets a focus towards the sphere and that gives you that momentum for me to enjoy that little hours that I had for sleep. I, I, was, I would assume that it would put me to a good sleep with having that feeling of tiring or things that I need to be worrying about at work. Because you're back home, you need to be uh, enjoying your hours of relaxation before sleep and before you go back to work tomorrow again. So I would... Uh, this is such a nice beer, you know, like their marketing targets, as the name suggests, way home, taken care. Yeah, man, this is a good beer to drink before sleep and you know, it just gives you... it, it sets you off. Uh, almost like it sets you off in another, 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 another dimension to for you to just focus on relaxing before going to sleep and waking up and going back to work tomorrow. That being said, what score I would give to this beer? Out of five stars, I would give 4.1 out of five. Well, although I've mentioned uh, that this is, I've been complimenting this beer as soon as I ha had a taste and with the level and everything else, uh, 4.1 is because, you know, my days are like any other people's day, even you, whoever are watching this video. You're going to work, whether it was a good day or a bad day, going to work and coming back from work to home, there is a stamina drained from you and there will always be a, a minimum stress that you would have to have that, that you would feel just going to the work, you know. Although you define that your work is good, your work is bad, or there is a minimum stress that has to be fixed just going to the work. But for me, as a beer lover, out of all the alcohol beverages out there, this is a low alcohol content probably, and I would probably need stronger beers in every aspects of beer. So flavor, concentration of hop, maybe I'm looking for something like, you know, IPA. IPA is solely focuses on the hop flavor and the concentration of that scent and the uh, odors are so focused. That kind of strong aspect of a beer uh, is probably something I would look for if I were to choose a beer to have before going to sleep. Um, this is, although it's a good, nice beer, everything generally overall, the level, you know, the momentum of picking that can of beer way home from that fridge in the uh, convenience store, getting excited to have this beer once I get home, it's all very good. But personally, I'd say this is a weak beer. I need more stronger, more flavor, I guess. It's all perfectly balanced. So German Pilsner, like I said in the front or the beginning of the video, I said that it's an easy drink beer. An easy drink alcohol beverage, right? Yes, it's very easy to drink. It's smooth, the ingredients, the hop malts are well balanced. But to someone I know who know better of taste and flavors, not know better of, but I know that there are more flavored beers out there and I would personally go for something stronger, stronger than this. So overall 4.1, it's a light beer to have for going to sleep. Yeah, it's refreshing, very refreshing. So if you're looking for some uh, exotic uh, beer and you're also a beer lover and you're looking for something exotic, something that is outside your boundaries, outside from your country and you're and I am introducing you uh, all throughout my videos. I'm introducing you Korean beers. If you have a chance to grab one of these, grab one of those beers that I've introduced in the previous videos and even in this, including this video, I would recommend to try it. Uh, and all the beers that I had was okay. Specifically, I'm focusing on Korean beers because I'm Korean, but I, 
my uh, taste on beers have been uh, kind of brainwashed in from the uh, Western years because I studied abroad for a long time and I came back uh, just a couple years now, not, not too much, uh, to Korea and, and I saw that there's a lot of beers like this in Korea and they're all drinkable. Don't get scared. They're very nice. They value and they admire and they respect the uh, foreign legacy of fermenting beer processes and they try to make it into their own style. There won't be any too much of differences but there is a specific character that stands out as a screen beer, right? So, thank you guys again for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I will come back with another video next time with a whole lot interesting Korean beer again. So, thank you again and I'm going to sleep. Goodbye.